Welcome to Science and Life. Coronavirus Infodemic. Today, internet-driven social media is a powerful channel and a resource to disseminate information quickly. From one corner of the world to the other, social media is, in fact, a double-edged sword. We must know how to use it responsibly and properly. Several days back, the World Health Organization's Director General mentioned, we are not just fighting endemic, we are fighting an infodemic, an infection of the internet with misinformation about SARS-CoV-2 virus and the disease caused by it, COVID-19. What is infodemic? It is the information epidemic or information pandemic. Concerning the news around coronavirus spreading across the globe, it has become infodemic. Okay, what is the real meaning of infodemic? An excessive amount of information concerning a problem such that the solution is made more difficult, or, when unreliable information on a subject spreads far too and wide. As of today, March 7, 2020, SARS-CoV-2 has infected over 100,000 people across the globe in 94 countries. Approximately half of the infected individual has recovered from the viral infection. The two screenshots reflecting virtually real-time updates, one from the dashboard of the John Hopkins University website and the other from the World Health Organization show close statistics. The current situation on SARS-CoV-2 is making us around the world to panic, to become edgy and unrest. We need to know what is happening, how fast and where the virus is spreading. Are there any treatments available? If not, what is the status of the development of medicine to treat the infection? What are the preventative measures available? We search the internet to find answers to these concerning questions. Almost everyone in the world is connected to the internet and social media channels. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, WhatsApp, Snapchat and whatnot. When these apps are open they dump information on us, posted by our friends and our social media contacts. You may not be the one who creates a post, a blog, a YouTube video, but you may be the one who shares them among your social contacts. This is just like spreading the virus among us. It is the spreading of information. As socially responsible people, we must post and share accurate information. As viewers, we must often get information from reliable sources like websites of the World Health Organization or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. If viewers are not science savvy, they may not understand what is going on. They are very vulnerable and gullible to grab any information they receive without much of thinking. Some folks are anti-science and some are anti-vaccine. Though they are small in number, they could plant seeds of doubts in our minds and propose conspiracy theories on the origin of the virus and also about the treatments that being developed at a rapid pace. For example, SARS-CoV-2 is a man-made bioweapon that was accidentally leaked or intentionally spread to damage the economy of a particular country. Others include the SARS-CoV-2 was created by big pharma companies to ultimately sell their medicine to treat the infection they already created. And the vaccines that are being developed against SARS-CoV-2 are intended for the depopulation of the humans in the world. These are all false statements. There are many false remedies on the treatment and prevention of viral infections that are completely untested against this virus and floating on the internet every day. One of the worst examples is suggesting to drink bleach as a treatment. People from different ethnicities, cultures, and religions recommend specific folk medicines, prayers, sharing photos of gods to get protection from the coronavirus infection. In the prevailing uncertain situation, the opportunists try to manipulate distressed people who are not well informed and vulnerable. Use your internet to search for trusted sources. When you read a post, please be responsible for finding the validity of its claims before you push the share button on your phone or computer. So, be a socially responsible person and act as a filter to exclude spreading misinformation on coronavirus to help the world to become a better place. Hope you learned something new.